Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Mm -hmm. A lot of kisses at this address back in the day, huh? Yeah, this is where Karen and I met. She was living here when we met uh, over 30 years ago. Right, I was. Yeah. So we are in front of 334 Com Ave. Boston, in Massachusetts. Boston, Mass, in the Back Bay area. And this is where I lived when I met Jeffrey. And then um, we lived here together. And this is where it all began. Yeah, so we were, we were walking back down these streets. We're out here because some of our kids are moving here to Boston. And we wanted to help show them around a bit. So we were walking down our old streets and kind of talking about, um, you know, sometimes you have to go back to where it all began. If not physically, maybe even mentally. The concept about why did you get together in the first place? What attracted you? Um, you know, why was it so important to do so much for that significant other? Right. Exactly. You know, it's it goes back to that feeling that you had at the beginning of a relationship, and we all know, you know, it's called the honeymoon phase when things are great and amazing, and the other person can, you know, basically do no wrong and the relationship escalates and takes you know takes it to the next level if you get past that honeymoon phase and it's so mission critical to always remember to treasure that person for the same reasons that you treasured them when you were in the honeymoon phase and you know that's something i always call jeffrey you are my treasure because i always wanted to make sure that I appreciated you and that I never took you for granted. You're a treasure in an entire huge world that I am so blessed to have found in my life. And um, so that was actually inscribed on your wedding band is you are my treasure because right. I never wanted to um, make him feel anything less than that. And you hear about couples all the time. They get divorced after 10 years, 15, 20, 25, 30. I have friends who got divorced after 30 years and, and further. And, you know, what they say is, is that, you know, we fell out of love or, you know, we just didn't have that same spark that we had. That spark is, you know, really a reflection of yourself. Um, from within and we talk about that all the time in every video that self-love and you know I think it's very natural to have periods of time in your life and if you're married a long time like we are um, You know 29 plus years to have a, a period, you know in those 29 years where you might not be feeling um, You know, oh my gosh, I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. Maybe you're a little bit um, down on yourself. I mean, I think these things happen. Or, or on your significant other. Or on your significant other. But right. usually what happens is you start seeing their flaws or things that bother you about them because of your own internal situation. And we have 100% um, capability to choose that. And, you know, even back when I first met Jeffrey, I wanted to choose that he would always be my treasure and um, that I would never take you for granted. And I think it's really important to remember that. And, you know, for us, it's super fun because this is, um, you know, when we started dating, this is where I lived and then we lived here together. Um, so we're able to come back and be flooded with those feelings and those emotions again. And I said to Jeffrey, you know, you don't have to physically go back because for some people that might not be possible. They could have tore down the building. That, or they could have met in another country and they're yeah. just not able to get yeah. back there. But emotionally, you can always bring yourself back there. And, you know, I think it's a great idea, um, you know, if you're in the honeymoon phase, for those couples that are new, write down all of the things that you absolutely treasure and adore about your partner and put it in your, you know, put it under your mattress, put it somewhere where you can pull it out and always remind yourself if you do dip down into a darker place and you need to get back there. Um, because, you know, after 30 years, we've had good times and we've had some really, you know, rough struggles together as a couple. We've been through, you know, some tragic times and we've we've gotten through all those together and um, there's no one in the world I'd rather be with and 
you know, you hear about people saying, well, you know, how do you keep the magic? How do you keep the spark alive? You choose to do that by remembering exactly why you fell in love with the person in the first place. And, right. you, and you do have to work at it because I can hear Absolutely. people out there say, well, what about this or what about right. that or what about this? As right. Karen said, you know, we've had plenty of challenges. What you end up doing is every time you hit a bump in the road or a speed bump, you get to uh, choose, right. you know, how to feel about that. And, you know, why is this happening? And you can say, hey, it's the end or it's just a speed bump and it's not a big deal. I'm going to look beyond it. But you get to choose. That's the great thing about being um, human in this life we have the gift of uh, choice. And it's the greatest gift, right? Every mm -hmm. second right now, we have a choice. Next exactly. second, we have a choice. You have a choice every split second of taking a right or a left, you know, um, going up or down or whatever you say to somebody. Um, you know, you, you have a choice. You just, you, you, you get to choose. So um, it's really easy to follow that path, but it's also easy to fall out of it, right? Right. You know, it's easy to do, it's easy not to do. It's easy to make the choice to remember why you fell in love and go back to that place within yourself and then, you know, let it spill upon your partner. But it's also easy for the ego to take over and say, hmm, well, mm -mm, I'm not going back there because he hasn't been very, he hasn't remembered why he fell in love with me, that's for sure. Um, you know, you can do that if you are not if if the relationship is not your priority again it's a choice you don't need to make your choices based on anything anyone else does you don't need to make your thoughts based on anything anyone else says or does our thoughts are our own choice and that's 100%. really really important and sometimes people self-sabotage because they think something you know has happened and therefore they change their own inner thoughts to sabotage something and, and make it negative and forget all the beauty and the magic you know it's 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 very interesting so if you're um you know if you want if you choose to have a lifelong relationship this advice is probably one of the strongest pieces of advice that we can give you is to always treasure that person Always remember why you fell in love with him or her. Um, remember why you got together in the first place. And what's really interesting is, you know, when you first start dating somebody and you have those feelings, most of the time you're not even in their presence, but yet you feel so um, amazing. And so, you know, it's that butterflies in your stomach feeling. It's that anticipation and excitement of all the world has to offer. That feeling is comes from within you. You've created that feeling based on your own thoughts about this other person. You can recreate that feeling over and over and over. And I'll tell you what, if you want to have a very healthy sex life, recreate that feeling back from when you first met and start, you know, thinking about those things. Because a lot of people are like, well, you know, isn't the magic gone? Uh, no, because the magic grows because there are so many more experiences that we share together that give me butterflies about being with you. So with that, signing off, our hotel's that way. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from Boston, Massachusetts in the back bay. And go back home once in a while. It's good for you.